Welcome to Biofuels Academy. This video is made available as part of the Biofuels Education Project, funded by the National Science Foundation and the U.S. Department of Agriculture. In this video, we want to illustrate the process of fermentation. The feedstock is delivered to the feed handling area for storage and size reduction in the very first step. Since the efficiency of the fermentation is dependent on the particle size of feedstock, then the feedstock is sent to a pretreatment reactor. There are many ways to pretreat the feedstock by using steam, hot water, acid, and alkaline. In this video, we present the combination of steam and acid pretreatment, which have been suggested to promote hydrolysis. Lignocellulose is hydrolyzed into cellulose, lignin, and hemicellulose in the presence of steam and acid. Then the pretreated feedstock is delivered into a hydrolysis reactor. The material must be made less acidic for enzymes and organisms to function optimally in the hydrolysate environment. First, the long cell load chain is decomposed by endogluconase into short cell load chains. Then the short cell load chain is decomposed by exogluconase into cell bios fragment. Finally, the cell bios fragment is decomposed by beta glucosidase. This is the entire process of hydrolyzing cellulose into glucose. Together with microorganisms, nutrients, and antiform, the glucose is delivered into fermentation reactor. 5 carbon and 6 carbon sugar can be fermented separately. Here we only present the fermentation of 6 carbon sugar. The 6 carbon sugar fermentation converts 1 mole of glucose into 2 mole of ethanol and 2 mole of carbon dioxide in the presence of yeast. In addition to water and ethanol, the fermented broth contains a number of other materials, such as microbial biomass, fusel oil, volatile components, stillage, and lignin. The broth is further processed by distillation. Finally, the pure ethanol is stored. Some references used in generating the videos are listed here. The members of the project gratefully acknowledge the financial support from the National Science Foundation and the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Thank you for watching. Please visit our website at www.biofuelsacademy.org.